Hey guys, today I thought we would do a little what is in my climbing slash boulder bag. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and if you saw my last video, you know that I've kind of gotten into rock climbing and bouldering. And so I thought I would show you what I keep in my boulder bag. This bag I actually got from Goodwill. It's a Samsonite backpack. It's pretty simple. It's really old. It has a little <sighs> plastic clip here that unclips and then it ties together and opens up. And it came without a tie, and so I actually took a shoelace from an old pair of hiking boots and made that the tie. So here we go. I keep several things in my boulder bag. Obviously, the first thing is my chalk bag. This was a gift from my sister. Um, it's kind of the best thing ever. It's a shark, and you just take the chalk out of its mouth, which is the best. It has a belt that goes around it, and it also has a carabiner. I have a carabiner that I can use, and that just kind of depends on what pants I'm using. If I'm at the gym, I'm mostly not going to wear the bag. I'll keep it on the floor just because I'm not climbing high enough to really need it. But if I'm doing some top rope climbing or something like that, then I'll either wear the belt if I'm wearing leggings, or I'll wear the carabiner if I'm wearing something with belt hooks. Yeah, so this is my chalk bag. I think this is from Amazon, but it's like the best thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> I have two pairs of climbing shoes. So I have these. These are Black Diamond Momentum climbing shoes, I think. I got most of my climbing gear secondhand. Uh, these shoes were only worn once when I got them, and I got them for like 75% off. They're the best climbing shoe I've come across because they're super comfortable. Climbing shoes are supposed to fit really snug so that there's not any dead space in the toe or in the heel. So when you toe in somewhere or you heel hook, you're not going to slip out because your foot isn't there. And every brand of climbing shoe has a different way of sizing their shoes. So I'm like, my everyday shoes are about a seven and a half, a women's seven and a half. And in, I think, Evolve, that brand, I'm like a 10 in their shoes because they're sized down a lot to be small and in another pair of shoes I'm like a size eight and a half but the thing I like about Black Diamond is that they have pre-sized down shoes so you just get the shoe in your street size so these Black Diamonds are seven and a half but if I put them next to one of my seven and a half like sneakers they would look a lot smaller because they are a lot smaller um, and I like these because they're really stretchy it's a velcro they're really comfortable. It's a really neutral profile. They're not super aggressive, and I'll show you what my other shoes look like. Um, these are, again, a pair of used shoes. These are a pair of 510s, um, and you can see they're a bit more aggressive in the profile, like compared, this is really flat, like, and then this is really arched. Um, these are size eights. But you can already see, like, 7.5 to an 8, they're much smaller, um, which is just crazy. But I wear these when I'm bouldering something that has um, maybe a lot of crimps, some really small um, holds and stuff like that, because my foot is more compact in the shoe. Um, and so I can get into things a bit better, like smaller things, whereas these are just the shoes I wear to the gym and if I'm doing a bunch of low-grade bouldering. Um, but I really like these. I actually got these at the climbing gym that I went to. They were selling their used um, rental shoes and for like $5, I think. So these are a pair of their used rental shoes, so they're already broken in, which is super helpful, and I got them for 5 bucks. So again, a pair of used shoes. 5'10", size 8. I don't know if it's a woman's or a men's size 8. I just tried on a bunch and bought the ones that fit me. A cast iron pan in here. Not sure why I have that, but okay. The next thing I keep in my bouldering bag is lotion. Um, chalk makes my hands so dry, but also so sweaty at the same time. I have really clammy hands just like as a person. And so when I chalk up to get my hands a bit drier, then they just get like super dry. So I always have lotion just so that I can put it on after I wash the chalk off. Um, I can put it on the back of my heels or something like that if I've made a cut. Um, but this is the Gold Bond Healing Skin Therapy Cream with aloe. I have eczema, like horrid eczema, and this is the only stuff that ever helps. 
Do you mind? I also have, and I don't know where it is, I think I put it in my purse, I'm a very tiny thing of Renew Lavender Lotion, and I use that if I have blisters. I keep a lavender essential oil. This is just the doTERRA brand. It's a lavender roller, and I keep this because I get blisters really easily. Because of my EDS, my skin is very fragile, and it tears and bruises um, easier than most people. I luckily have a lot of calluses on my hands because of wheelchair racing, um, but I use parts of my hands in climbing that I do not use for wheelchair racing. So I use my pinkies in climbing, but not in wheelchair racing. So I have a couple blisters that will hopefully turn into calluses. I'll either drop a couple of these, like take the cap off and do a couple drops in my chalk bag. That way every time I chalk up, I'm like making sure that any cuts are getting nice and healed. Um, and then I just keep the roller so that I can roll it onto blisters and cuts, um, stuff like that to keep them from getting worse and to take away the pain, which is really nice. I also keep a water bottle in my bag, but it's a water bottle I use daily, so it's not always sitting in my bag ready to go. It's usually like on my desk or on my bedside table or in the kitchen. Um, I also keep a glasses cleaner in my boulder bag because um, most of the time I climb with my glasses. If I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of really weird hangs, then I won't because the last thing I want is my glasses to fall off and then me to fall on top of them. Um, but I will keep a glasses cleaner in my bag so that if I push them up and I get chalk on them, I can clean them off so that I can actually see where I'm going. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. That's everything I keep in my boulder bag. If y'all like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this or have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, leave a comment down below. I will see you guys soon, hopefully. Rejoice in the day and be glad in it. See you guys later.